Today's passage to read is John chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. And the link between my theme and today's passage is tenuous, so I fess up to that straight away. Jesus spoke of unfruitful branches being cut off and thrown away. And I'm going to speak about some of the things we throw away. But at least you have a nourishing passage of scripture to read from today's lectionary readings. And even if my remarks don't seem too relevant, that's worthwhile to read. They are relevant, of course, to all the teaching in scripture about the beauty and wonders of the earth and of our role as stewards to care for it. So this week I'm taking part in a thing called the Big Plastic Count. It's run by Greenpeace and the idea is that households will count and log every bit of plastic which they use and throw away or recycle. Now this isn't intending to make us feel guilty about our use of plastic, much of which is unavoidable and that's partly the point. It's part of a campaign to reduce plastic use rather than rely completely on recycling. By quantifying the plastics used in ordinary average households, the need for replacing plastic packaging can be highlighted through the results of the survey. They hope to get the government to commit to reducing single-use plastics by 50% by 2025. I decided to take part not just as part of the campaign, but also out of curiosity about my own lifestyle. I reckon I'm fairly conscientious about these kind of things, and I go to a refill shop for certain items. But if I itemise every single thing over a week, maybe I'm using more plastic than I realise. I'm ready to discover that this is so, and to need to think about what to do instead. So, in my kitchen, I have a checklist up on the fridge and on this I put a tally mark for every plastic item which I reuse or re uh, recycle or throw away. And that includes solid plastic like milk bottles, drinks bottles, uh, yoghurt pots. It includes the flimsy stuff like film lids or crisp packets, dishwasher tablet packets, squeezy tubes like toothpaste or hand cream, bubble wrap, cleaning fluid bottles, and so on and so on. There are many categories to put my tally mark into. At the end of the week, I'll submit my results online and they'll be added to the overall count. Would you like to take part? It's not too late. The deadline for submitting totals is the end of May, so you can still start and complete the survey over a week before then. We'll put the website address up on the screen if you'd like to look at it. Back to Jesus and the vine and the branches. Maybe there is a clear link after all. If those unfruitful branches are pruned away, it's because they're not helping the vine by bearing fruit, they're dead weight. Sometimes we have to take drastic action in our own lives, removing something harmful, like alcohol, for example, or drugs. What if one of those harmful things, not just to an individual, but to the whole human race and to all species on the planet, what if one of those harmful things were plastics? Well, we would need to find ways of removing them and replacing them with safer alternatives. What doesn't bear good fruit has no place in the garden, the Garden of Eden in which we live.